so since our map 2 and map 1 is a setup and also we added all of our main menu map 1 and map 2 right here in the build settings what we're gonna do now is uh, let's click on slim UI then go in here open up the main menu scene and now let's try adding our maps okay setting up the maps actually so in the main menu then canvas main then inside the main actually where it is inside the extras actually okay so if you open up the extras here are our two maps okay we are gonna set them up now so if the player select the first one we will play the first map and then the second so the second map so for this uh, right after this create a reference to both of our map buttons so map one button then public button map2 button and then create a private string by the name of selected map okay and since we will be changing scenes on this uh, script so at the top make sure that you type using unity engine dot scene management all right so now at the bottom let's create a method uh, to select the map and then update the selected map variable so we will say private void select map in here we will be passing a string as a parameter by the name of map name okay and then the selected map will be equals to map name so whatever the map name is it will be passed to this selected map okay and when it is passed to this selected map then we're gonna load the selected map okay so right here we will create a method for it by the name of load selected map then we're gonna say scene manager dot load scene and right here pass selected map that is it now if the player uh, presses the first map button then it will be map one and if it is the second one then it will be map two okay and then that map one we will pass map one name right here to this map name and then it will be stored inside this selected map okay so in the uh, start method after uh, this uh, save settings button or actually let's do it right here okay so we will say map one button we will add an on click event to that so we will say map one button dot on click dot add listener okay and here we will add round brackets then that will be equals to greater than selected map so i mean select map this is our method name and as you know this method requires a map name so for the map name we will pass our map one name okay this is our map one scene this is our scene name okay this map one then let's do it for our second one so if the map two button is pressed then we will pass the map name as map 2 and then the selected map will be equals to map 2 and then it will uh, right here uh, load the scene map 2 okay also uh, we want to load the uh, selected map whenever the game start okay 
for example if the player plays the game on map one okay and then close the game then if the player opens the game uh, tomorrow or the other day then we want the map to be the same as map one okay on which the player uh, last played the game so for that in the load settings at the bottom we will say if Clear pref dot has key round brackets in here we will pass selected map actually right here first of all we need to save the selected map before loading it okay forgot to do that step so let me comment that out right here let's first of all save it so in order to save the map what we're gonna do right here is we will say player prefs dot set string and let's create a player pref by the name selected map and whatever is inside the selected map string it will be stored inside the selected map player pref it will get saved and now let's load it right here okay so if player pref dot has key selected map all right then we will set the selected map string to player pref dot get string okay get string selected map that is all for saving and then loading the selected map okay and also let me check this uh, button okay make sure that the b right here is capital in both of these uh, map one button and map two button okay and then uh, let me double click on it so that okay it doesn't get highlighted but it is right here so right here make the b capital as well that is all if we save the script get back to unity so now click on main menu right here we need to provide the buttons for map one and map two so this is the map one this is the map two Okay, drag and drop map one, drag and drop map two. All right. Then after this, when we select the map, it will select the map, okay. Let me show you right here, uh, make the this as serialized field so that we see it in our uh, inspector, okay. So that we see which map is selected. Okay, now you will notice it right here. Here it is, okay, selected map. Now, if we play the game, click on map, select the first one. As you can see, it shows map, but it also opens up a link of the creator website. So, let me just close that. And what I will do is let me select this button and from here I'm gonna delete this on click event from the first button and then from the second button okay now click on main menu again start the game and in the previous uh, try we selected map one but as you can see don't show the map one name but if we select it now it shows map one then if you go inside here save it okay then let's close the game let's play it again okay now it is showing map one okay but like this it will be a little bit hard okay and the player will not know how to uh, do that so what we're gonna do whenever the player select the map one or map two we will automatically uh, then save the game okay we will not make the player to come right here and click the save button okay and also when the player select map one and then if you click on play and continue
then what we want we want to play the map one okay i mean play the game in map one so these are the two things we need to fix now so right here while we are saving the uh, game okay save setting from here let's cut this whole line okay and then Right here, as you can see, we have this select map method. So we're gonna save the game whenever the player select any map, okay? Or this method is called, okay? And then we have this, uh, we have to load the game while uh, the continue button is pressed. Okay, so right here, let's uh, create a reference to it. So public button continue button okay and when this continue button is pressed so right here we will say if continue button dot on click dot add listener okay right here we're gonna call our load select map method where is it right here okay remove the round brackets just the name and that is all and actually let me cut it from there and paste it right after this uh, map 2 okay and now the next uh, problem with this will be actually let me show you okay first of all let's assign the continue button so uh, that is inside the let me actually now close that inside uh, play okay we have this vertical then we have this continue button so add that right there okay now let me show you what i was talking about but let me actually close that play okay so now if we play the game select main menu as you can see it loads the map one but now right here if we select map two as you can see it select map two okay now uh, map 2 is selected if you click on continue okay as you can see map 2 is uh, being opened up as you can see it is the first way uh, wave number and the wave timer is also right there okay and as you can see the bikes are right there as well this biker outside my home every time he just went uh, in front of my house i don't know why he increased the bike exhaust sound okay so just ignore that idiot now if we open up our sniper so as you can see map 2 is being launched and the zombies are right there okay and everything is working as expected now if we close the game let's uh, play it again let's click on main menu okay so it is now as you can see it is map 2 because uh, we play our game uh, by map 2 in the previous section so it is map 2 now if we select map 1 let's play it on map 1 okay as you can see map 1 is being loaded and everything is right there okay we have the sniper as well all right so everything is working as expected i thought there will be might an issue with our save and load but it is not i was wrong everything is working perfectly fine now the next thing and the final thing which we will be doing is to uh, uh, load our uh, sensitivity the uh, smooth speed and our uh, 
time between waves and zombie per wave just uh, load this whole thing on our map 1 and map 2 okay but we're gonna do that in the next video